best crash cut ever. <laughs> We're just about to have some coffee if you'd like to join us. <laughs> Okay, so this is the setup that we've got. That's so funny. Manu's face. <laughs> Manu's face, expression of horror in the back. It was hilarious. Okay, so we're going to have some coffee. It is now raining. Oh, there we go. There's our thermos. Now, Manu's got to operate the camera, which means Manu can't actually get the stuff out of the, um, out of the cooler box, which sits at the back. Manu, how do you feel about that? Do you think you can do it? One armed. Oh, you're going to pass it to me. Good plan. Good plan. Well done. The rain has now arrived. The lion's still there, by the way. He's completely flat. Oh, got it. So, if you want to know what it entails being out all night, ouch. This is our cooler box. We have sugar. We have apricots. I'm assuming this is coffee, otherwise we're in big trouble. Otherwise we're going to be drinking hot water and sugar. We have a sandwich. We have a roll. We have apple juice. Chocolate-covered digesters. Sultanas, which is a bit random. Oh, and a, an empty sachet of tea. And some salt cracks. Apple juice and some milk. Now, a couple of days ago, during the long night of the TV show, I'm just keeping it on the line, I forgot about these ridiculous milk containers, and I went to open it, but I was squeezing it slightly. There's milk everywhere, over all the... I don't know if I ever told that, because this... Over the radios, down the back, all over my camera, my phone, my clothes. It was quite distressing. You know what we don't have, Manu? Unless it's hiding here. Oh, and we have some chips! We've got crisps as well. We don't have a spoon. So we'll we'll have to make a plan of the sugar. Manu, do you take sugar? Yes. Yes. How much? Ha ha! Spoon. Um, Adele, you wondering while I make our coffee, how much sugar did you say you had? Two. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Manu. Adele, you wondering while we've been out all night, what's the scariest thing we've had to deal with? Hands down the stampede that I got caught in, that was, I was genuinely, I was not panicky, but I was frightened. I was frightened. My, I, I don't think I've had adrenaline surges like that in a long time. It's probably one of the most frightened one of the most frightening moments I've had in the wild. I was really quite, quite concerned. Because when a hundred thousand wildebeest run at you, they don't really have much room for manoeuvre. So they don't really have anywhere to go. And I was deeply concerned for our safety and the safety of the wildebeest. And it took us a long time to get out of that. A very long time. Um... What has also been? I got stalked by a few lions, but quite playfully, not too serious. Here comes the rain. Here's the lightning. Not too serious, uh, but obviously that's you. You treat something like that seriously. Lion, subadult lions in particular, they're not used to seeing cars at night, and they would actually run up and go to jump at the car, and that has to be immediately be stopped. He's up. Now you get up. It's because we poured coffee, isn't it? And you wanted some. Yes, I know. And it's dark out. Okay. Let me complete this task quickly. Oh, you see? And I always drip the milk. Oopsie. So there you go. That is the coffee-making hot box process. I'm sure you were all thrilled. I'm sure this was an absolutely enthralling segment. Let's send you now back to Tristan, who might be more entertaining.